ask, we investigate. Why taxpayers in one Arizona town could get stuck with a huge bill for a mess on private property. Some people are so frustrated they emailed us, mm -hmm. you ask, we investigate. It all started with our story about a big eyesore in Tucson, the Spanish Trail Motel. After we looked into why the city of South Tucson has let the owner there leave that mess for more than 10 years, we got another message, this time from Wilcox. Here's Kevin Keene. Jennifer, you think you might think that after nearly a year and a half, you'd get used to living, working, and driving by something every single day. But for this terrible eyesore, the outrage just grows. Roofs blown off, brick walls knocked down. Here's what's left of the second floor of the Desert Inn Motel. It is a danger zone for us here. Ugly. It's not a good representation of our town. Might look like a tornado. But a fire did this, a big one, caught here on home video, crews fighting it for 12 hours. Luckily, the motel had been abandoned, so nobody's hurt in the blaze. But the mess is ugly, dangerous, and still there nearly 15 months later. I've been here over 50 years, and this is the worst our city has ever looked. It's a big mess for a small town. Nobody trims the palms. The pool is filled with graffiti. Mattresses are simply left to rot. Far from the quaint family motel it had been for decades. It's not a good first impression. So Melissa DePeso emails us, and when folks find out we're investigating, dozens turn up to talk. We need to stand together and fight this. We want to clean up our town. So isn't anybody getting this job done? Neighbors tell me Wilcox had another big fire around the same time. The high school right down the road. The school district takes care of that. This becomes this in just a few months. But the Desert Inn stands in its sooty, rotting glory for all to see. We head to City Hall for answers. I am very frustrated. Then City Manager Pat McCourt says the motel is private property. He says he sent the owners lots of letters and is even trying to fight in court, but nobody will pay. We've got to get these people to take their responsibility. This is their private property. They've got to clean this thing up. That's their job. So McCourt names names. The people responsible, he says, first, a couple, Kirshna Singh and Ermila Singh. Second, their mortgage company, California Bank and Trust. And McCourt says they both both have stopped cooperating. We're getting no communication. Stonewall. Nothing is, is happening. So I got a hold of the bank. They aren't saying why they won't help, but did send me a statement saying they can't comment on litigation for obvious reasons. Just what litigation? The bank didn't say. So how about the owners, the Sings? Turns out they live in Tucson and they not only own this mess, they owe $45,000 in back taxes. I did track down Kirshna Singh. He didn't want to tell you his story on camera, but says he's broke and that he wants nothing to do with the motel, that the city can have it. That, of course, means he wants the taxpayers of Wilcox to pay to clean up his property. And the grand total for that? A whopping $309,000 for a property that's worth $15,000. And the council said, OK. We're going to bite the board, and if that's what it's going to take, that's what it's going to take. Taxpayers are forking over even more. The city says this fence costs 500 bucks a month to rent. The new city attorney tells me over the phone she'll try to get the courts to figure out who should pay to make this right, nearly 15 months and counting. It is a representation of our community, and this is what they see. And I want to live here. So for now, Wilcox is a small town that could be stuck with a big bill, while the Tucson owners and the bank leave this mess for someone else to clean up. One more major concern. A lot of people in Wilcox are also worried if that motel site is safe. Is there asbestos there? Is it somehow a hazard? Well, I called the state over and over, the department in charge of that. And after I called, they sent an inspection team really quickly, and I'm waiting on the results for that. And you'll let us know when you get it. Of course. Thank Just you. kind of speechless about how this has been handled, though. I mean, yeah. to think that the taxpayers are going to have to pay to clean that up. We will see in the end that this yeah. might change things and someone might step up. One of the property owners might clean up their mess. All right. We'll see, Kevin. Thank you. And if you have a problem you want us to look into, you ask, we investigate. Email us news at kgun9.com or call the nine on your sideline 290-7726. We'll be right back with the weather.